Hi, this is Tim Hoy from the Steinway Piano Gallery. Welcome to our latest edition of Steinway Piano Gallery's concert performances. If you're visiting for the first time, I want to tell you what it is that we do here. First, we're one of the largest piano stores in the country. In addition to being the exclusive dealer for Steinway & Sons Piano and Steinway Design Boston and Essex Pianos, our 30,000 square foot showroom is home to several hundred new and used pianos where you can make side-by-side -side comparisons of many named brands. So whether it's a concert instrument or a piano for a beginner, we'll have one. Our technical staff services most of the performance venues in Michigan, and they can tune, repair, or restore your piano. We're also home to the new Spirio piano, which can faithfully reproduce the performances of one of the 1,600 Steinway artists worldwide right in your own living room. It will forever change the way that you listen to music. And we're committed to your education. Our Arts Academy has hundreds of students of all ages coming to learn music and to create art. And in the Steinway Hall, we can comfortably seat up to 250 people for some of the greatest musical events provided by the best talent in the Midwest, as well as internationally known musicians and singers. Every concert's different, featuring different artists and a variety of styles, so make sure you tune in. For the great lovers of classical music, we host a variety of performances by Steinway artists and arts organizations like Detroit Symphony Orchestra and Michigan Opera Theater. If you'd like advance notice about our concerts, just send us your email and we'll make sure you will get an announcement. If you enjoy what we do here, we would love it if you would visit SteinwayDetroit.com and give us a review or like us on our Facebook page or go on your Facebook page and let your friends know what we do here. And if you want to experience the thrill of playing music, come in and see Cliff Monier, our resident pianist, and he can get you started. And one last thing, consider showing your appreciation by making a donation of any amount to support these musicians and their families. As with all of our concerts here at Steinway, proceeds will go directly to the musicians performing each week. We're going to continue to live stream our concerts until we can return to our regular sized audiences. So pour yourself a glass of wine and a comfy chair and feel the music because music is what feelings sound like. Here's why we say, come play with us. It's what we do. Enjoy.
That was called Little Boat. Thank you for spending your evening, your Wednesday evening with us this November 18th. I have some wonderful musicians with me this evening, my favorite people. That's the man of many faces over there on the drum set. And that's Sean Dobbins. Everyone knows Sean Dobbins. Everyone loves him. He is an awesome, awesome personality and a wonderful musician. My friend Ray Parker, all the way from Toledo, Ohio, or is that Perrysburg? Perrysburg, Ohio. Ray Parker, by way of New York for the last 20 years, more and more, and back with us again. So I'm delighted to be playing with Ray Parker again. My friend, longtime friend, Chris Collins, who heads the Detroit Jazz Festival, among many things, uh, Wayne State University chief, if I will, if, if I may. And uh, he's just an awesome musician, just really, I'm in the company of world-class people. There's no doubt about it. Thank you, gentlemen, for joining me. Thank you all for joining us. So as you know, this is about Vince Guaraldi. Vince Guaraldi was, it was in many cases, the very composer and pianist that introduced some of us to jazz music and that sort of cool jazz sound. And uh, we're going to feature his compositions. This first one, Everyone that is familiar with uh, Vince Guaraldi's music will have heard Frida, Frida with the curly hair, Frida with the naturally curly hair, and she would sort of a sassy dance around and real proud of her hair, and I, I know Vince Guaraldi needed to compose an equally cool and sassy and strutting tune just for Frida. Uh, let us demonstrate.
That was Frida and the skating song. The skating song, of course, is when uh, Snoopy was out skating wearing only a hat in the wintertime. I've always thought that was rather peculiar, peculiar as a young man. He, only, he got away with wearing just a hat. And so what we'd like to continue with is something that came up on my phone as a request. And we are watching, I'm watching some comments come in here. And probably one of the most famous and certainly the first real famous song that Vince Guaraldi ever produced and made uh, probably every other tune on the radio was Cast Your Fate to the Wind. Thank you. 
cast your fate to the wind. Well, I can tell you right now that we are having so much fun with Vince Guaraldi's music that we'll never get through it all. So we're going to have to pick and choose here because we only had 47 songs down here to play for you in one hour, and we're running over. So we're going to narrow it down a bit. I really like this song, Surf and Snoopy. It was always so cool. It was always like, please rewind the movie a little bit so I can hear that song again. I know you'll recognize this part. It's just awesome.
One thing that Vince Guaraldi was wonderful at was taking an existing, existing theme that we were very familiar with and sort of superimposing another theme right on top of it. And so I remember starting to play this tune years ago, and I, it dawned on me, my, my goodness, this is just nothing but uh, a, a variation of take me out to the ball game. So I'm sure that they didn't have the budget at the time when it was Charlie Brown's turn to pitch or bat in the summertime on the, on the Charlie Brown animated show. So they did the next best thing. They took the song and created a different melody, and we're going to play that right now for you. It's called The Baseball Theme. Thank you. 
Just wonderful, just wonderful. The baseball theme. So we have three more songs. We may have to abbreviate them a little bit, but I'd like to play the Thanksgiving theme, I Wonder Why, and then the Pumpkin Patch theme, I Wonder Why. It's all that time of year. You all know, if you've ever seen Snoopy's Thanksgiving series, or Charlie Brown's series, you're going to know this tune, the Thanksgiving theme. Ray makes a good point. There was, there was, uh, they were ahead of their time, shall we say. They were definitely social distanced in that pumpkin patch. There were only two people out there. And as I recall, Sally was mad. And so she probably were, uh, ended up throwing things at Linus. So um, we will, in honor of their social distancing, we will play this song just for them.
Love that. Peace makes me feel good, makes us think of good times. And good times are coming, really, they are. And it's a pleasure to play with these gentlemen. These are wonderful musicians, and I'm sort of laughing inside a bit because we don't get around much anymore, do we? It's, it's like, you know, when, you, when you're playing all the time, you really don't have to think about anything. Things just happen, and they just, they're just there for you. And then when you get together once a month or once every two months or five times in the la since March, you sort of, I don't want to say lose your edge, but the, dull, the knife gets dull. And, we, and it's wonderful being in this situation where we can sharpen it back up again. And um, I'd like you to recognize the people that are behind this camera right here. That's Yuta Sagano making sure you see good video. And that is Tim Hoy making sure you see better video. And he's, he's the guy with his finger on the camera. If you have any complaints or comments or praise, you would direct it to Tim. He's awesome. Joe is over there making sure they behave and don't get out of line while we play and make, keep the foot tapping uh, soft. My daughter Hannah is in the other room making sure the sound is perfect for you, and I'm hoping that it is absolutely that. We'd like to conclude our uh, presentation of Vince Guaraldi's music with Linus and Lucy. This is arguably the most recognizable Vince Guaraldi tune ever written and the most requested, for sure. If I play somewhere, somebody somewhere is going to ask me for one of two songs or both of two songs. The one is Take Five all the time and the other one will be Linus and Lucy. So for all of you who are just yearning for Linus and Lucy, this is your big chance. We hope we play it just right for you.
Linus and Lucy. Thank you, gentlemen. Sean Dobbins, Ray Parker, Chris Collins. My name is Cliff Monier. Thank you for joining us. You will hear from us shortly. We'll continue our live streams. It's always a gas playing here. It's going to be a greater gas when this place is full of folks again. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening.